Hi there, this is David with AppWorks, and today I have a new video for our basics, FileMaker Basics series, and today I'm going to go over one of the most fundamental concepts of FileMaker design of databases, and that is portals. Uh, I'm going to start with showing you how to create a basic portal to a related table, and at the end I'll show you one of the newer techniques that FileMaker offers for portal creation, which is really pretty cool. Uh, a portal is essentially a window into related records. It's one of the most basic tenets of relational databases where you have a record and it's related to other records in other tables. So, for example, we have a person record here and the related records to this person might be phone numbers and those phone numbers are related to this record via the person ID. So there's a primary key in this table in the person table, we put a that primary key as a foreign key in the phone table, and now we've created a relationship. And portals are a way to show those related records right here in the person context. So to do that, we essentially, you have to have a relationship already set up here. So in the graph here, we can see that we have a person record here, a table occurrence, and it's got phone numbers related. And if you double click this, equals symbol, you'll see that the ID person is related to the phone records by the ID person foreign key in the phone table. And you'll also no notice this checkbox here that says allow creation of records in this table via this relationship. If you have this checked, you can easily make related records, which are called child records, very easily right through the portal. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So first in layout mode, all we need to do is choose the portal tool from up here and then you can actually just draw a portal and this will create a related record. Uh, sorry, a, uh, a related portal of phone records. So when you do this, you have to choose the table that you'd like to have displaying records in this portal. And so in this case, we're choosing person phone. Now this portal will show the related pers uh, phone records to this person. And you can choose the number of rows you can allow vertical scrolling of this portal. If there's more than four related records, for example, we're gonna to wanna to have to sc scroll through them. Um, you can also allow deletion of portal records. You'd have to put a control to actually do that, but, um, and you can sort these portal records and you can filter them. I'll show you first just the basics. Once you've chosen the table that you wanna have related, you choose the fields that you'd like to be displayed in this portal. So you can choose them from the left and this will show you all the available fields. And in this case, we're gonna double click on phone type and phone. So these two fields then will be shown in this portal. And if we hit okay, now it automatically makes a little window. And this window shows the phone type and the phone number. And these are going to be the ones that are related to this person table. If we go back into browse mode, you can suddenly see a list of phone numbers. And really simple, but uh, it's a fundamental concept, and you're always going to want to have situations in which you want to display the related records to a given record when you're on a screen. So in this case, we can actually, because of that checkbox, which I'll show you again, if this relationship has this checkbox checked, allow creation of records in this table via this relationship, we can now, in the last row of this portal, just type in a new phone number. And it can be anything that you might type in. And now we've added a new related record. It's as simple as that. If we had the scroll controls uh, added, then we could actually scroll through these. I'm gonna show you the next trick on this uh, portal as well. And if we double click the portal, we can bring up this setup window. And here you can see you can sort them and you choose the, the actual field that you'd like to sort by. Uh, so in this case, we're gonna sort by phone type and then when you click on this, you can choose ascending, descending, or a custom order. Um, and in this case, we're just going to go ascending. So now, when we go back into browse mode, you'll see that it's actually sorted by uh, alphabetic order, you know, uh, by phone type. The next thing that we can actually do is we can filter these. So we can filter the portal records by basically any calculation. In this case, we're going to filter by phone type equals and then if you put in quotes, 
the word work, then what this will do is it'll filter out anything that doesn't have the phone type equals work. So we hit OK, and we go back into browse mode, and now you can see that we've filtered what is displayed in this portal to only show the types uh, of phone numbers that are work. I'm going to undo this filter just so you can see the difference once more. And there we go. We've unfiltered it. That's the most basic concept uh, in creating related records displayed in a given context. Um, the only other type of portal that you can make, which is pretty handy, is uh, this newer feature that FileMaker, I believe, introduced in 17. Um, and you'll see on this one, we've just gone to a new layout here of person records. Um, and what we're going to do is actually going to make a new kind of portal. I'm going to move this stuff over. And you'll see how this works. Grab the portal tool. And now we're going to draw it right here along the side. And in this case, we're going to show records from the current table. And this is a cool new trick that FileMaker offers us. So instead of showing related records, it shows all the records in this table that we're already in. And so what we might want to do is get the full name in the list because we're in the person table. And now we've got a portal here that shows us the f names from all the records in this person table. And if we make this anchored on the bottom, it will stretch to fill. And now you can see you've got all of the person records in the table and it actually will show the person records in your found set. And if you click on one of these, it automatically jumps to that record. This is a really cool feature that FileMaker added recently, so it makes it a lot easier to do what's called uh, this master detail view. And so you've got the, the master list on your left and the detail, well, wherever you want, really. But that's essentially all there is to portals. They just are a window into other records, and you can add controls to maybe navigate to them, to edit them from a portal. Um, there's all kinds of different things you can do, but this is, the, this is a fundamental uh, technique that you'll use all the time. So super important to know about, and uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you later.